Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Keys. Thank you for stopping by. So today I am starting a series titled Being Married Young. As you guys know, I am married. I've been married for almost three years now. I got married at 23, which is not super young, but I guess for our generation, it's kind of young. I know that there are people who are getting married at 18, which is a couple years below me, but I still feel like it needs to kind of be an open dialogue. I feel like a lot of us are rushing into it, not really knowing what to expect. We kind of feel like listening to our parents are beyond us and we're like, oh, we got it. We know what to do. Oh, we'll get through the tough times. And unfortunately, our divorce rates are super, super high. So I really just want to address, you know, certain things that we aren't doing and should do prior to getting married. And if you are already married, what we should probably be doing during, you know, our marriages and how to make it function better. Now, I am in no way a counselor. I don't know everything. Every day I'm still learning. Every day I am attempting to grow. But I... I do want to put some tips out there because I feel like I see I'm seeing a lot of failed marriages lately or there are people who are feeling incomplete in their marriages and and it's kind of sad like you hope that you marry your best friend and then things kind of go down and so I'm just I'm just going to speak on that. Today, however, I am going to focus on the, the dating aspect, what we should be doing prior to even getting married, you know? Um, because we be rushing the hell out of that. I know I did, and so that's why I want to kind of give feedback on how to do better in the future and in your future relationships. So, first things first. If you are at the point in your life where you are dating to get married, I highly advise you guys to take your time. Now, I know it, it seems cliche. I know it's probably annoying advice like, oh, I just want to get married. Oh, relationship goals. I want that. I want that. Oh my God, they're so cute. Oh my God. Oh my God. Stop. Okay, <laughs> just stop. Like, truly take your time with that person. I didn't take my time. I didn't. So after we got married, becoming integrated as a family was so much harder for us because we kind of skipped that part of our relationship. We were getting to know each other after we got married. So with that said, take your time, get get to know the person, learn not only their favorite foods and their favorite colors and their hobbies, but look at their moods when they don't have any money. Look at them when they're hangry. Look at them when they're stuck in midday traffic. How is their patience? How are they socially? How are they with their family? How do they treat the people that are closest to them? Because the things that you see will either be something that you'll appreciate, they'll be something that will warn you of the type of person that you may or may not want, or something that you may not be able to cope with, say you guys do get married in the future. So you really just want to take your time and let things go slowly. I know it's exciting. You meet somebody and you have butterflies and you're super excited because you're like, oh my God, this person is perfect. Oh, finally, where have you been all my life? But we're all perfect when we first meet somebody that we really like or we're attracted to or we're attracted to their personality. Like there is no wrong that that person can do, right? Right. So, so take your time and just explore that person. You guys don't have to be together every single day. You don't have to text all day. Live your life while simultaneously dating this person or persons if you're the type who doesn't want to have their eggs all in one basket. That's another story for another day. But just 
take your time and really just get to know the person. Um, kind of a sub part of this. Personally, I would say abstain from sex as long as you can. And I know everybody has that, oh, I got knees though. I mean, what are you gonna do? What about Netflix and chill? No, <laughs> like just ab abstain from sex because even if both people don't get emotionally attached because of that, somebody is bound to, to get emotionally attached. And when you have sex with somebody, that early on in your, your relationship especially, you start to ignore things that you generally wouldn't ignore. You start to settle for things that otherwise would not be okay with you had you waited to have sex. So do your best to abstain from sex until you really get to know that person. So the second thing I want to talk about is making sure that you meet his friends and, and family. That is such an important thing. We got married so fast that I didn't, you know, meet a lot of his friends and his family. I, I was a new person in the family, so after it was months after we got married before, I was like, hey, I'm Kiara, and they were kind of just like, Yeah, <laughs> so it was a little bit awkward for me, like integration into a family that was especially developed before I had even arrived was really difficult. And you just want to know what type of person that you're dealing with. You, It's so important for you to meet their friends. You want to make sure that he has honest people around him. You want to make sure that he has people that are uplifting him, really positive people around him. And you want to make sure that he has friends that are going to tell you the truth about the type of person he is. I mean, eventually everything comes to light because that's just how life works. But you, you really get a sense of the person that you're dating and the person that you're with by just interacting with their family and their loved ones. Is this person, you know, family oriented? How much do they reach out? How was this person raised? What type of morals does this person have? How does this person interact with you know, just different scenarios and different things and you really get to know that when you meet that the people that are closest to the person that you're with. So that's super, super important that you do that. Lastly, I mean, for this segment, um, lastly, I really just want to reiterate continuing to be who you are after you start dating this person, don't get so caught up and clingy and spending time with this person and all your money and all your energy with this person that you forget your friends, that you forget your family, that you forget who you are. You can date somebody and still go to the gym. You can still go get that bi-weekly pedicure that you you do you can still go hang with your boys you can still go shoot pool and go play basketball the person that you're with should simply be an addition to your life they shouldn't be taking away all the things that make you you they shouldn't be taking away the things that you have grown to love you are still an individual and it's important that you remember that you are still an individual because when, if and when you do decide to become one, still knowing who you are so that you can add to their relationship is so important. A lot of people, they date somebody and they completely lose their sense of self. I can't count how many times that I and my friends have began dating somebody and 
we don't hear from each other for like weeks and it took me a long time to really figure out like hey you know you have these other relationships and these other friendships that were started prior to you being with this person don't neglect these things that make you happy don't neglect these people that have been a part of your life for so long stop neglecting that part of you because when you do you overall take damage because of that and it doesn't really do anything but hinder yourself and furthermore it hinders the relationship that is is trying to get started um so that's all I got for right now so if you are you know in the process of dating and in the process of getting married and you're young you're 18 19 20 anything I would say under the age of 28 then I would seriously advise that you listen to this and pass it on and hopefully you guys can learn through me and make better decisions through me because it's so important to just be able to live your life. It's important to know how to be alone. It's important to know how to make yourself happy. You can't depend on other people to bring you happiness. And I really just hope you guys are able to get something out of this because a lot of the lessons that I have learned in the past three years since and since being married and becoming a mom are things that I wish I had known before getting married. So, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, if you are not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe in the link down below. I will leave all my social media down in the link. Um, I think that's it for today. I want to thank you all for tuning in and I will talk to you all later. Love you. Bye.